Hey everyone, it's Char from Char's Fashionation. And you know how I said I was going to make myself some thermal clothes for winter now. I did, however, for the turtleneck, and this turned out more like one of those cowl necks, which I don't mind, um, because it's still warm, it's cozy. I use this really nice, and I don't like a really tight sleeve or too long of a sleeve. Um, so this worked out for me. Um, as you can see, there's no seams right here or on the shoulders. That's because I just laid out the fabric and I laid out a shirt on the fabric. <laughs> and you'd be wondering like, why would you use a short sleeve shirt? Annika Victoria did the same thing. A short sleeve shirt, right? Um, on this fabric because you can always lengthen the sleeve, which is fine with me. I do not mind a belled sleeve. That's fine. Ring my bell. Ring my bell sleeves. <laughs> so anyway, I like the fit. <clears throat> And of course, you know, this is just the shirt, right? Now, I uploaded a short video yesterday on Instagram, if you follow me um, over there, for the people that do follow me over there. Now, as for the pants, oh my gosh, these pants totally match the shirt. And for a good reason, <laughs> I'm gonna put you guys over here for a minute. Look, if that reminds you of something from uh, the Big Bang Theory, right? When Sheldon went to a costume party, and he had just like the black and gray and white stripes. It would look something like that. Yes, my that right doesn't want to agree with this going away. But it sort of has gone away, but not all the way. Oh, don't mind this. I'm still finishing some other sewing. Um, but I at least wanted to show you guys this. I know you can't really see, like, the bottom. And I don't feel like using my camera today. I just thought I would, oh, come on here and show you this. No, I don't really drink. So, um, these are super comfy, super warm super lightweight you can wear these as jammies which these bottoms will be specifically jammies i have more fabric over here in which i don't mind my hair is hot mess today in which i will be cutting out another pair of pants um this is what's left of when I cut out the shirt. So that does mean that I actually have plenty of fabric to make another turtleneck if I want. And if I make another turtleneck, obviously I'm going to do it more a higher neck like that. A little more fitted. But you know what? This outfit right here is a wearable, I love doing wearable mock-ups, right? This is a wearable mock-up of this outfit. So, bring you back over here. Um, what else do I have for pants to sew? Well, now you guys remember this fabric from a dress. Um, so, I have already cut this. I just gotta pin it and sew it. Um, you know it <laughs> so that I can make me another pair of you know like in the house pants that could probably like later on during the summer like think about this all the jewelry that I have right I could dress this up I could dress it up just keep it as it is do a simple everyday 
peace with this. Um, nails, what am I going to do for nails soon? I'm going to take this nail polish off because that is not. Um, I have nails coming. I do. Um, my friend Isabella made, well, she has her Etsy store now. So she sent me some nails um, so that I could put them over these. I am seriously trying to... I hope you can hear that. I'm seriously trying to grow my nails. So... They're a little longer, but not by much. Uh, <laughs> oh, and another thing I've done. Um, I got to finish up this. Um, I did a headband. I just finished making a um, scarf by knitting. And um, I have more knitting to do. I've been a bit knitty the last couple of days. Yes, I have been trying to deal with the new med thing for my epilepsy. And that's not panning out. It made it so horrible yesterday. That's basically why I haven't been on much. Um, because my new epilepsy meds is making it worse, so I stopped taking it. <laughs> Called up my neurologist and had to leave an, a uh, message. And, uh, I'm sorry, I went a little silent there. It's just doing this. Now, if you want me to do another, well, you know what? Don't even put that in the comments. I am going to do another Knit 101. Because as soon as I'm done with, you might be wondering what this is. Excuse me for that. Um, this is going to be, you know, like back in the 80s when we had those gloves, like, went on the arm. You feel me on that, don't you? The 80s had some cool stuff, I'm going to tell you. Um, I used to actually wear the Kelnick, uh sweater dresses, but I would wear a pair of stirrup leggings with those. If that made any sense. I think it did. Actually made it a little more styling. A little more stylish. But, oh my gosh, I'm going to tell you right now, this outfit, I am so glad I made it. You know why? It's warm in here while it's cold as whatever outside. Right? It's always good to have something warm. And now you might be wondering, well, who the heck am I making this for? Um, my friend Beth Raz. <laughs> this is a gift to her mother. Yes, a gift to her mother. It's a set. Um, and then I just have to make a bath. I made her last year an arm knit scarf. <laughs> and um, then I'm going to make her a hat and the same kind of arm sleeve um, knuckle gloves. They're going to be knuckle gloves. I love making knuckle gloves. That way you're phalanges are free <laughs> while well, you keep warm everybody needs a pair of thermals like what I made oh my gosh like Viv if you've got that kind of fabric in which I purchased from Fabric Mart the thing for it's up there it's right up there in fact um you guys see I've got a growing amount of labels over here. I've got to take that other label and stick it over here from the denim. Oh yes, that'll be the other thing that I'm finishing this week. Redo a video on is putting the um, denim coveralls together for myself. Now I did a pair and those are going to my friend Izzy for Christmas. It's her Christmas a Christmas miss gift for me. So, um, yeah, I'm going to do another knit 101. I mean, like, look at that ribbing on there. That is really, really nice. Um, but that said, it's like, I have things to do this week. Um, you guys may be all celebrating stuff. I'm just going to sew on.
and so on. And it be I'm gonna be nitty and so on. <laughs> and so I want everybody out there to have yourself be happy. Stay happy, stay healthy, stay positive, and as always stay blessed. And Merry Christmas. <laughs> you know I was going to put something in there. <laughs>